Hey everyone, welcome back. So today, I thought it'd be fun, it's actually the day after me coming back from Go Wild, so I thought it would be fun to kind of share unpacking, getting ready for normal life again, back to work, all of those things, um, and just kind of hitting like the reset button because oh my god, <laughs> there's stuff everywhere. Um, so I thought I'd take you guys along with me, but first, let's start with a list because I know that writing out a list first is going to help me stay super, super focused, I hope. Okay, so I'm really trying to not totally overdo it today, so I think that this is a good start for the day. Definitely need to do laundry first, so that's definitely going to involve unpacking, like, <laughs> right away. So I was able to cram, like, most of my clothing into my carry-on, and then my larger suitcase is, like, 90%, like, full of swag. So I really want to start on laundry first, also marking your suitcase uh, with a Chrissy and Design Steve <laughs> is like the best way to find your luggage ever. 10 out of 10 recommend. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get started, take all of the clothing out of here and um, yeah, get that first thing knocked out. That way while the laundry's going, I can move on to other things on the list. Okay, so all my laundry is in that basket. Now in all fairness, that's not all Go Wild laundry. I had a few pieces that I didn't get to wash before I left, um, but I wanted to show you guys the Go Wild shirt. So this is the attendee shirt. It says Go Wild, or Go Cal, <laughs> Planaheim 2022. And then here was the volunteer shirt. I love like the baseball um, type shirt and like this soft pink color it was like super, super pretty. And then here was our our badges, oh my gosh, so freaking cute. Okay, now that the laundry has started, this is the mess that I still have to deal with. So I have like the backpack that I actually brought with me. That is actually um, clothing that I brought with me but never actually wore. Um, I've still got like my electronics pouch and jewelry pouch over there, um, a hoodie that I didn't actually get to wear. <laughs> and then that's all swag. I managed to fit it all on one half of my suitcase, which is really great. And then I've got like my hair, um, cosmetics thing that I use. They're, those are both from EC. Um, so there's like hygiene stuff, hair stuff, and then makeup stuff in that other little pouch. And then of course I had a tripod, a purse, a, um, out, a what, what is that? A power strip just, and then I brought this Kate Spade backpack with me. And because I didn't end up going to Disney, I didn't end up using it. So now I've got to get like <laughs> this entire mess, like cleaned up. Okay, so I wanted to mention this, but one of my big packing mistakes was throwing all of my makeup in this um, type of container. Um, I just found myself not staying very organized with my makeup and my brushes, and so everything was just kind of thrown in there, um, and it became very chaotic, and I couldn't find things, so next time I will use, like, I have, like, a folding, like a trifold kind of thing um, that helps keep, like, my brushes in one spot, like, powders in another, like foundation and concealer in another. And while I like the size of this, um, it, it's like, look, this is the cap for something. Oh, my setting spray. It just, it wasn't, I didn't feel very organized. Like this stressed me out. So don't do what I did. <laughs> okay. So as far as swag goes and sharing swag, I feel like I won't have a very organized way <laughs> of showing you what I got when I got it because I consolidated a lot of things to help me fit it into my suitcase. So I'm gonna show you at least a few things um, because I definitely want to um, shout out and appreciate um, some of the shops that helped uh, make Go Wild happen. So first up um, is the Gen Plans um, Budgeting Summit. That was super fun. I was actually behind the camera on that one streaming it for 
the um, those folks who couldn't make it to go wild so that was kind of cool it was a separate event that you had to buy a ticket for um, and she provided a binder and some stickers and some other stuff um, if you paid to go to that particular event there were even some Avery tabs and this cute little cute little piggy bank that says planners just want to have funds for more stickers just kidding <laughs> This was the um, welcome bag, which the welcome bag and the welcome party was sponsored by Chrissy and Designs. So of course, it says Go Wild SoCal in the beautiful like lavender and pink colors, matches the shirt. And then I love this. The other side says, um, hold on, let me overplan this. Like, yes, that is all of us. And then inside of that bag was a Chrissy Ann Designs um, sticker sheet. I love these. I actually collect them. I never use them. I have a book that um, has all of these types of samplers that are exclusive to the event. And I just, it's just the thing that I love doing. I feel like it's it, in its own way. It's a form of like memory keeping. <laughs> I don't know. You also got this little um, selfie light, which I think she provided one the last time, but I love it. These are handy. Can't go wrong with having um, more than one and am I going to be able to do this one-handed let's see <laughs> probably not <laughs> oh my gosh okay there we go so that's what it looks like let's see if I can get my camera to focus so it does have the um, little llama on there and then um, Chrissy and design celebrate your life so that's really cool and of course it has the little charging cord in there as well so I'll probably charge that up today that's super fun while we were walking around, um, Live Love Posh was giving away like this little bundle of stuff. It has a few sticker sheets, um, some sticky notes, some vinyl stickers. I really love that one. And some washi. And then a little card that actually included a um, coupon code for those who attended Go Wild. And then here was some of the swag from EC. Um, Tanya, the CEO of EC, was on the live podcast recording with Planners and Wine. So I'm hoping that this is all of it. Like, again, I like broke down bags and put everything together. But I thought that that was cool that they included a petite planner, um, a little list pad that said um, sunshine on my mind. Yes, please. And then one of these little like sticky note list things. So that was pretty cool. Okay, and then on day one, I was lucky enough to sit at one of the Chrissy and Designs tables. She had several, several tables, and they were all amazing, but um, it included this little mini binder and then all of these um, stickers, which I'm so excited to use. I mean, look at that. So freaking pretty. And then all of these little vinyl decals. I've got to figure out what cup I'm going to use um, to put these on because I am just so freaking excited. Um, but these are like really, really nice. And then she um, gave us this notebook. Is it lined? Oh, it's dot grid. Of course it's dot grid. Like Chris, Kristen knows we love dot grid. So we got a um, notebook from her, a pen, and then this super interesting marker. I'm not sure if it's something that's going to be on her website, but this does work on her stickers and I'm super excited for it. Um, Sam over at Happily Housewife was testing it while we were at the table and it's it looks pretty awesome. I haven't tested it myself yet, but I, I can't wait, I can't wait. And then of course she also included um, these hand sanitizing wipes, which I just think are so freaking adorable. Like I don't wanna use them, but you should you should use sanitizing wipes so the mixture of what's in these two bags is this is like a, lar a large like swag drop that has a mixture of things from a lot of different shops it would take me like hours to go through each one but so I'm just gonna highlight a few this one was from um, capital chic designs oh I think did I get princess Tiana oh my gosh it's so cool so you got like a little decal a button um, you know I just want to highlight these shops because they just put so much work into this and providing so much for the attendees of this event so I'm just gonna kind of like randomly grab <laughs> some things so this is from paper loving mommy over on Etsy so it was like a nice little weekly sampler there we did get a Tombow marker it's an alcohol based ABT Pro I have no idea what that means but it sounds super fancy we got this really cool um, list pad, not really a list pad, but it's got like a wild recap. Are all the pages the same? Ooh, oh my God, no. It's almost like a sampler of different layouts and things from her shop, maybe. I don't know, I'm making that up as I go. There's meal plans, 
So yeah, there's a nice little like recap page on here and then a whole bunch of like meal planning pages for you to use in there. I thought that that was really neat. We also got a bundle of cards from Hallmark, which I thought was really cool. I haven't had a chance to open those and look at that, but awesome that Hallmark um, provided some swag there. Let's see what else do we have. A patch from Christina Jean. That is awesome. And then we got a bundle of washi from Pink Room Co. I believe they've been like a long time um, provider of swag from Go Wild because they just look very familiar. I think I have several rolls of theirs from um, previous Go Wilds. Very good washi tape. We also got a bundle from Avery. Also cool stickers and more tabs. And then we have this sticker sheet from Bella Rose Paper Co. Also a new to me shop, but look at those colors. Very nice. I could not get over how much we are given by these shops. That is just so, so generous and very much appreciated. Okay, let's do one more and then I've got to move on down my list. But this sheet is from Jenny Penny Plans. It has like a wild note sheet so you can decorate your notes pages. That is really cool. And the paper feels like, like that buttery sticker. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Look at that cute little llama. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to share every gift or swap that I got, but I did want to highlight a few of them because I just thought that they were so generous and I just loved them and it was just great. So um, Shantae from Simply Shantae Plans is the absolute sweetest and gave me this like little, um, oh my god, it's so cute. It's like this little burlap bag with some goodies in it that included a mask, this little llama list pad from EC, and I think even a hand sanitizer. Like everyone was like strong on the hand sanitizer and mask game. I mean like <laughs> obviously for obvious reasons but that was really cute there's even chapstick and a marker down in there um laura over at plan with laura gave each of us an ec notebook which i was like what i love this cover so freaking much along with a little note some mints um i think there's a cucumber mask in there i was like just blown away everyone was so sweet and then this was probably one of my favorite table mate gifts and this is from allison Yiki. I'm probably going to say her name wrong, but she was so sweet. Um, her bag included like these little snacks and obviously her sticker sheet there, but she also like handmade these little pouches. You guys, oh my God. Like I was like, I want this in my purse, like always for what? I don't know. I will figure it out, but it's got this floral design and then like another pattern on the inside and you just close it with this little button. Like I love pouches. Like I just love them so much, but look at that. I can't do it one handed, but you guys get the point. It is just so cute. I love the little pattern. It's like a little lunch bag. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then my dear, dear friend Claudia gave us some stickers, a snack. I was like, everyone brought snacks. I was like, yes, please, thank you. Someone gave me this mask. I can't remember who, but again, super cute. Um, I got to sit with Sam over at Happily Housewife. If you watched her like packing vlog for Go Wilds, you probably already saw this, but it included a cherry. I haven't gotten to open it. I haven't gotten to open it yet, so it's really in there, but it included a cherry Coke, I think, or just a Coke. But what I was most excited about was a slice tool. If you remember a few weeks ago, I mentioned that I lost mine. <laughs> And I was just so excited because I was like, yay, finally have one again because I love this thing. But she also included some snacks and some other fun things in here. So really excited about that. And of course, a pen pouch, a pen pouch. This one's purple. Super excited for that one. So I might like put a patch or something on there. Okay, it's definitely looking better. <laughs> I'm not 100% done, but I still have that pile of clothing, which I think I'm going to wait until my other laundry that I started on is done and then put it together all at once. I am about to empty my To Me backpack because it has all of my gadgets, like my laptop and all of that, which will get me started on my next project, which is uploading all of the clips from Go Wild. I put all of my packing cubes um, in this bag. It's a Brighton bag that I got from... <laughs> the airport in Vegas. D don't ask. I, I needed room for swag back then, but honestly, I'm thinking of making it my work bag. It is a good size tote and I feel like changing things up and I've only used this bag once and it is gorgeous. Okay. On to the next thing. Okay. So I am in my office and we are to the part of my list that I have been regretting <laughs> since I don't know what. I kept telling myself that I was going to take clips from each day and upload them, upload them, uh, upload them to my computer each day. That 
that did not happen. So another thing that I did differently this year is I did vlog, but I did it all on my phone. <laughs> I thought it would be a great idea um, and then I was just gonna kind of like voiceover add music things like that because I didn't constantly want to be worrying about holding up my camera making sure I'm saying the right thing um, if you were at go wild you will know that I didn't sit still for very long so <laughs> um, having to focus on that and focus what I needed to do at go wild was um, challenging at times it wasn't like super hard but I knew that I there was one I was gonna have to shift focus I'm, I'm using too many words. Okay, let's get these clips <laughs> uploaded and organized. And um, hopefully it doesn't take me 12 years because I want to get this video up like tomorrow? Wednesday? What day is it? It's Monday. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so far I have gotten my laundry moved from the washer to the dryer. I am on <laughs> day two. Wait, yes, day two. Of, actually, it's actually day one, but <laughs> um, I'm on day two of um, shifting over clips to my computer. Um, again, all the regerts. <laughs> I should have done this while I was there, but it's kind of it's kind of nice to look back on the clips. So. I may pause for a bit and eat some breakfast because food sounds really good right now. But I'm liking the progress that I'm making. Like with my laundry just even being in the dryer, I'm like, I'm feeling like I'm going to be ready to go back to work tomorrow. I mean, not really, but <laughs> um, I'll feel more prepared is probably the better choice of words. These are just the day one slash two clips like so many clips each day but they're so short because right now my video is only sitting at 10 minutes so I didn't want to make it extremely long like an hour or more which it could have been so it's still working on editing and of course this is happening except it's not telling me which video clips it's dropping so this is going to be fun <laughs> So I think I have figured out what is going on and it is that I am editing too fast. Um, so one of the things you have to be careful about when you're editing is that you're letting processes actually process in the software that you're using. And I kind of noticed that there was like a spinning wheel that was like, oh my God, it, there's, it's a little bit backed up. Plus I am, I filmed on my phone in 4k. So that takes a little bit to process plus adding audio. Like I'm very, very quick at editing, but sometimes I go a little bit too fast than the computer can handle. <laughs> and that's where we're at. So this is my sign to pause and let the computer do its thing before I damage it. Um, and go get some, go get some breakfast. Cause it's only 930 and I've gotten a lot done. I think. All right, time to check in and see where we are at on this list. So I have already done my laundry. It's actually done in the dryer now. Um, I did move the clips from Go Wild to my computer. They're just taking 500 light years <laughs> to render. That's what I get for filming in 4K. Dinner prep is done. Let me show you guys what's for dinner. So I'm not sure that we needed two packages of these, but we can always um, take some and like separate them for meal prep instead of putting them with like sauce and pasta, if that makes sense. Like you can just have the meatballs with like vegetables or something. But Jesse grabbed these seasoned meatballs for spaghetti. Um, and I know that they're gonna shrink down in size, so they will be a little bit smaller. So I might change my mind once they are cooked, but they actually look really delicious. I'm used to making like the frozen and already cooked meatballs that you just like throw in the crock pot or whatever. I don't know, but these look, these look really, really good. Okay, back to the list. I did just get done filming the plan with me um, and I'm still working on editing the vlog. The luggage is right by the stairs um, to go up to the attic. So technically this is kind of done. I can't do it by myself. Someone has to hand me the luggage or I have to hand someone the luggage to bring up the stairs. Later on today, I will do my work bag and work clothes. So making good progress. We're making really good progress.
Okay, so we just got done with dinner. I'm clearly like going downhill fast. I'm exhausted. Um, I actually ran a couple errands earlier. I dropped off our Nespresso bag at the UPS store. I dropped off some Stitch Fix returns to the USPS, the post office. Um, and then we just got done with dinner. So I am going to finish. I'm like halfway through the Go Wild vlog, but I need to move over to the plan with me. So I'm gonna pause on that and then edit the plan with me. But this is where I'm gonna wrap up this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed the little bit of today that I shared, but I've got to hit the round, ground running and just finish this content <laughs> and not focus on vlogging. So I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.